If this drove Jakey insane, Stanley Parable would be a wild ride for him. You should play the Stanley Parable. Jakey, you should play Stanley Parable. Jakey never fails to make me bust with ooey gooey joy when he entertains me. Somehow I've never heard of this game, so today we're jumping in blind. If it's anything like the last video, which was the corridor, I'm sure we're in for a good time. Enjoy the video. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. I love his cups. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. We love that for Stanley. We love that and for Stanley. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. No! Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, I might he got be Stanley. Up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Stanley, you didn't... You didn't have orders to do that. Close the door. What? Is this actually a scary game? What? The looks are inverted. Oh, no, I was pressing the wrong buttons. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Yeah. He had never been trained for that. Yeah. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing right. to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Right. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Sounds In ominous. Here I can be happy forever. Unlikely. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? Oh my he gosh. He no longer had the ability to tell. What? But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, he was have a that clock? if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, Not true. someday, they would arrive. Soon, mm. very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Come on, Stanley. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. The end is never, the end is never. Okay, so do I need to think a lot? Alex! Daddy ask, daddy ask, daddy ask, daddy ask. So this is a thinking game, right? Let's think about this for a second before we start going. Stanley is... Stanley's a bit of an NPC, okay? Stanley's a bit of what I like to call... I can't think of anything. He's the kind of person who just likes to do the things that are on the list in front of him, okay? He's the kind of guy that thinks Minecraft is only meant to be played so that you can beat the ender dragon. He doesn't go around and build stuff for fun. He just chills and plays the campaign. He's a little bit of a sheep. We can call him a sheep. I think that's, you know, a little bit fair. Although not to be frowned upon that he's a little bit of a sheep, okay? Because without the sheep, there isn't a flock. Think about that for a second. I hate Mondays. See, that doesn't feel like Stanley. What Stanley hates the weekends, right? Am I thinking too much right now? Because you guys are you guys are confusing me about what this game is. Do I need to really I'm overthinking. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Maybe I'm a sheep. Who knows? Stanley does not seem like an, a disorganized person, so I'm a little bit confused about the orientation of this desk. And I'm scared to go out into the rest of the office. So I'm gonna explore everything in here that there is to explore before I before I leave. General questions about bucket filling. A short history of the relations between Poland and Austria-Hungary. Hungary. Hungary. Hung Hungary. Jake would go out and he All would look at- All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. See, do I do what Stanley wants or do I do what Jake no wants? Because Jake would Stanley go snooping looked, around a little bit low-key. trace of his co-workers. If I was in my office and all my co-workers Stanley were gone... Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I see what you're getting at. Just get to the meeting room. Or do I? Do I need to touch more things? Come on, Stanley. You gotta be a little bit curious. Like, what is, what is Karen436 doing, you know? I like... work. I just hate my boss. This feels like it would have some issues with HR. Knock on door 437. How do I knock? Interact is E. F doesn't do anything. Go hide under my desk. Can't even go back in my office. This store doesn't have a number on it. Stanley doesn't like that. Every door must have a number. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. Or... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't like that he's telling me what I do and don't do. This is what we got to decide right now. Am I playing as Stanley or am I playing as Jake? Because the rest of the game, I'm either going to play as Stanley or I'm playing as Jake. So you guys got to spam Jake or Stanley. All right. You guys are voting Jake for sure. Overwhelmingly, actually. Uh, Jake would not let somebody tell me which door this I go was through. This not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Nope. I'm going to check every single door. Like, what is that? What is this? This is not good. Jake would hyper-focus on every little detail in his environment until the, the, the whole space just became second nature to him. Okay? Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Can I actually drink anything? Because, low-key, I might. That's tragic, dude. Pick that up. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers were eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I don't like somebody narrating my life. I like to be the narrator of my own life, okay? 100% I'm exploring this room, dude. 100%, but this door's gonna close behind me, isn't it? Stanley was no! so bad at following directions I wanted to that it's explore that. he wasn't fired years ago. Oh! I'm really bummed that I don't get to go explore that room, but that's okay. I will explore this room. When one door shuts, another door probably shuts. Yep, okay. Wow. Where do I work? What a terrible organization system. Because if you even if you do have forklifts, like you're gonna be almost hitting this bridge. This is not a good layout. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is on. While it is in motion, will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $1,000. $5,000. Well, I definitely want to jump off this. Vents access trained employees only. Vents? What? Vents? Vent access for trained employees only. Vent? Among a sauce. Do I go on the lift or do I jump off? But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. I Good don't think job, that Stanley. was a fatal Everyone height. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. I don't think that was a fatal height, but that's okay because now I get to reset as Stanley. I'm still me. But Stanley's just Stanley, and Stanley, we just learned, is immortal. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, they want me to go in there. And so he detoured through the maintenance section 
Walk straight ahead to the opposite door. I want to find a way to glitch track. through that door. And I want to get out of this guy's control. I don't want this guy narrating my every move. I'm just getting acclimated, okay? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now I'm not getting to get off back, track. He needed to go um uh from here it's um Oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Hmm. What no, am I typing on? No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute? I'm gonna die down here. I'm dead, dude. I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Now, let's see. We went down... The game resets, right, dude. Left, the game down, resets here, guaranteed. Left, right. I die yep, in here yep, of hunger. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh, okay. Um, let me in. Uh, is that the hamster van or what, bro? Okay. Go ahead. Close the door. No, wow! No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not yeah, supposed to be this here is what yet. I need. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. No. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? They're going to kill it's me. It's rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Interesting. What we just learned is that every single one of these employees is being watched. Where's the camera? Can I shut the power off? Hmm. Yes, this yellow box. Interesting. Uh, interesting, the yellow box. This is the angle that we saw Stanley from. This is the camera. But Stanley, alas, he cannot turn off the camera. All of these boxes are cameras. Surely, I'm sure of it. When Stan mm. wait, wait, what? No, I'm no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change, Stanley? Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or uh, hold on? Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Oh, we're getting under his right skin. Here just a minute ago, I know for sure that it's here somewhere. I don't okay, dislike then. the narrator, by it's the way. An adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Okay, back rooms? Question mark? Okay, when I can't close doors, it means they're gonna shut behind me. So that's a whole corridor. That's back to where we started. So yeah, let's just explore. Oh, it's not gonna shut behind me. There it is. That yellow box doesn't that yellow box doesn't have a black dot. This one does. Question mark? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Wait. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. 
No, wait, never mind, not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. What are they doing to me? What have they done to me? Now this. No. Well, I'll Granny. be honest, I don't recognize this place Where's at all. Where's Granny? Where's is this Granny? The story? I don't think so. Dude, this place I is a vibe. I can't recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. I don't want to follow the line because I want to understand what's happening. It's like... I'm not in- this isn't reality, dude. Whatever the narrator says is my reality, so I'm stuck in this world where somebody else is narrating you my see, entire story. the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, nope. here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Yes. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. I am trying so hard right now to wrap my head around this. And I look over and you guys are just all vibing to the music. Just ba 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 da da da. Wait, cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Sure. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're... Okay. Here's my theory. Is it too early to make my own theories? I have never, ever, ever seen gameplay of this. Here's my theory. Stanley is the one narrating. This is probably going to be wrong, and I'm very aware. But just with what I have so far, this is what I can conclude. Stanley is the one narrating. Stanley has dementia. And Stanley is like 90 years old, and he is trying to just get through his day. And all he's able to replay is the basic memories that he's retained. 
Okay, I have two theories, by the way. This is the first one. Stanley is is trying to continue through his life. And this is like a POV of what it's like to have dementia and remember your life. That's first. Second theory so far. The narrator is in control of everything that I'm experiencing, right? So everything I see is by design. So he wants me to see the things that make me question everything because he's trying to throw me off the scent. Now, I'm a little upset. I thought I was going to be able to backtrack and actually do the things he was asking me to do. I did not think that that was going to be a problem. I was wrong. Since I can't retrace and see what he was, the original story he was trying to tell, it leads me to believe that at some point, if we Bring are- the music or you let it crust I don't bum, bum, control bad, the bad, music. Bum, bum, we will have small opportunities where we can break out of the narrator's controlling box where he is holding us and escape the matrix essentially if we can find a way out so we have to be looking no door goes unknocked looking for the stanley parable right the story is any of this ringing a bell it's gonna shut i can go through that door without it shutting can i go through this door without it shutting yes can I go through this door without it shutting? Do you guys think my theories are W's or L? Don't tell me if they're right or wrong. Just say if they're W's or L theories. And and a, a W a theory can be a W even if it's not correct. Oh no. No, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything what happened we've been to, through... Okay, wait, what you, happened to 104? No, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. 104, 234. 104 and 234. Something interesting happened with 104 and 234. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Go through window? Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I don't want to make a story with the narrator because he's not giving me control. So he's giving me the illusion of collaboration, but this is not collaboration. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Chat, I can't jump. I can't jump, so jumping's out of the picture. I miss the music, dude. The music was fun. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How Don't. important we mustn't squander the opportunity. Okay, we language is sus. Whenever somebody says we, and it doesn't actually mean we, but they're trying to make us think that we're working together when we're indeed not. How is my green cup? How, wait, the Jakerton parable. How is my green cup not see-through if it's a green screen that I'm in front of? I know it's a different shade of green, but geez. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Hmm. 
Deviate from maintenance room, end up in monitor room. Narrator restarts the game, first restart. Discover the two-door room now has many additional doors. Aimless wandering, narrator restarts the game, second restart. The office is now a dead end, turn around, find another dead end, end up in another building, narrator restarts the game, third restart. Adventure line, nonsense, philosophy, and music. Return to the office, return to the monitor room. Fourth restart, adventure into unexplored territory, find the line again, find the confusion ending schedule, narrator restarts the game, fifth restart. So we're about to start the fifth restart. Narrator forgets about previous restarts. Stanley attempts to play the story, but is prevented, unable to go anywhere, or do anything. The game restarts on its own. Six restart, find the line again, begin following the line, find an identical replica of the office that had begun to de deteriorate, attempt to make up a story here. Narrator restarts the game. Seventh restart, there is no longer an office, simply black space, wander in the blackness, find a bookstore, get bored and leave. Narrator restarts the game. Eighth start. Narrator's gone. After a long time, Stanley dies. Okay. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? He's about to forget all it's this. All determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I... I don't want it to be. I... I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. This guy has dementia! I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Does it. And the timer it uh, stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. He should run for I guess president. Now just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do. He forgets. Employee number 104 got fired. Why would a narrator fire an employee? Like, this is not reality. We know it's not reality. So in this made-up world, here's what we're gonna do. I am going to follow his rules until I can find employee 104's office. And I hope in employee 104's office, we find some clues about what's going on. Mm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here. Tips either. for not getting fired. Feeling Talk a wave less. Of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on other coworkers. Resent coworkers for not supporting you more. How to solve dispute. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on the text. This will ensure a calm and productive environment. Everyone is unique. This is the game you'd read you the most lore of all. for. Hello, lele, lele, lele. This is the game you'd need. You'd read the lore for, huh? I mean, I feel like we're learning the lore. Number of slides on this slides, charts, charts, and slides, slides. Rate at which charts on the same slides depict the same information. Okay. Do not alter without consulting a whiteboard manager. Rest in peace, Franz. What happened to Franz? Okay, Franz is dead. I remember that. Group Cabal Planning. What does Cabal mean? Weekly targets at admin, marketing Mondays. Termination Tuesdays. Office party on Fridays. Pranking floors meeting. Mergers. We're broke Wednesdays. What to do about 432? Don't tell 432 about my meeting. So 432 is important, 104 is important, and I am 427. Push for funding, blah, blah, blah. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Chris and broom closet. Employee. 417, 491, 431, 405, 416, and gym. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write 
next day's agenda reflect the future was yesterday tomorrow is now who moved my desk papers are too synergized fire paper guy is 104 paper guy hire somebody to fire the paper synergizing guy these guys cannot fire people on their own take pictures actually wait one if i should be taking pictures of these seriously i feel like that's a little much Room closet. Chris! Chris, are you in here? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. Where's so he Chris? Turned around and got back on track. No, Chris was in here. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Chris, where are you? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A.? What does F.A. mean? Dude, I... Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? I'm confused. Where's Chris? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I'm not Chris, I'm Stanley. To mention it. Why is he getting so hung up about me being in this closet? Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Is that what y'all are doing to me? Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. What? He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hook. What? Wait, what? Okay, wait, I need to see well, what this I've guy- I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. So I think... Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the way to school. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good, good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages of their... Pages of their what? What a sick drawing, though, dude. A cat on a motorcycle? But Stanley just couldn't do it. I said he I was going to follow the, the rules and I forgot to do that. Boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? 
none of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star what? field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Okay. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real, I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career.
Sorry, I just, I don't want to, it's, it's like the narration in this game just goes like this. So it's hard for me to like, I can't listen to what he's saying and talk at the same time, you know, but I just saw somebody in chat saying, uh, poor thing. There's not a single thought in those eyes. And I think it's the opposite, dude. There's like a hundred thousand thoughts in these eyes right now. Back to us losing our sanity. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Let's recap really quick. We are in a game where we are Stanley, employee 427. And we are trying to figure out why nobody else is here at work. And a narrator is controlling everything that happens to us. And you can listen to the narrator and you can do what he says that you should do, or you can kind of go off on your own a little bit and the narrator doesn't seem to really like that. I think the narrator has dementia and All he is just- All his were gone. What could it mean? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is ridiculous. If this is your office compared to what the rest of the whole place looks like, you're a piece of trash. Sorry. It's true. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Gosh dang 2845. it. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. How do I delete? How do I delete? I thought it was a three digit number. How do I delete? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumb, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to import what? the code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay, what inspires our manager? Perhaps Poland and, and Austria? Or Hungary? I am the most expensive boss. Carte Blanc at Mont Blanc. Sewage lilies by cloud money okay last time we went into an elevator like this we died Oh, that's the first thing we've been able to climb on. Okay, I guess we just have to go there. Wait. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Bubble shrimp, thank you for the f thank you for sub subscribing with Prime. I pressed up. I should have pressed down. Oh, I guess I can only press down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Will you take the blue pill or the red pill? I keep saying that I'm going to listen to this guy and let him have his way. What do I do? If light is on, call extension 914 immediately.
Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. I did not think this was going to work. Okay. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive, rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow! <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Eight. Oh my gosh! Pizza Man, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Is it possible that there's another code that we can enter? Oh my gosh! Okay, nothing's changing, so... I'm really interested about whatever's up there, though. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does oh, he keep I should have done with all of this? I should have done 2458 backwards, you're right. Surely this time, Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. Gosh. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Okay, wait, something's not adding up. Because didn't we... Oh no, we took an elevator down. This makes sense. Employee observation protocol. If despite adherence to protocol 2A and protocol 2B, an employee leaves the office during work hours and system loop has failed, you must terminate. Please note that employee 432 is a test case. While the need for protocol, dude, it's like so hard to read this. 2A may seem unlikely, proceed 2A to 2C need not apply in the event of 432 attempting to leave the office, contact supervisor and then contact 432 prize pool 3a monitoring screen fails to initialize contact maintenance and temporarily switch control over to desk screen 4a in the case of a class 4 event close system gates and consult with supervisor 4b in the case of a class 3 event close the system gates and consult with the supervisor prime your con consoles for info dump okay what is going on with like poland and austria and hungary what is that about why is it that i can walk Chat, do I jump off? Wait, do I jump off? Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it lore, to you. Lore, 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 I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? 
We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track, Good Job You've Made It to the Bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Well done. Good job. You did it. We did it. Good job. <clears throat> yeah. Good job. You made, made it, it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped down the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. And now it's an ending. And I believe in you. I believe in your ability to cross this barrier. I chose the dreams. Railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 You did it. Good job, you did it. You did it. You did it. Good job, you did it. Good job, you did it. Yeah! Okay, so it's interesting that there's so many different quote unquote endings. Who was the person that we were reading that was just like insane? There was like an employee that was just getting gaslit. 437, maybe? 438? What? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. I should have seen that coming, dude. I should have there seen that coming. There was a man named Stanley. Who people considered so manly. So manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old. Not old. And was quite particularly gangly. Gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed buttons. them like some kind of glutton. Glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. Yeah. But his brain had long ceased to function. A long time ago. Which is why he is in this parable. Terrible. And lives an existence quite terrible. Terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, keep playing you along. too will become quite unbearable. Quite unbearable. Yeah. You too will, will become, become quite, quite unbearable. unbearable. Stanley's parable. I'm stuck in a white room with nothing but my thoughts. What does a man do when all he is left to do is think? He smells his own stench. And questions. Where does B.O. even come from? Why do my armpits stink but my kneecaps don't? Perhaps there is a bodily function to fight infection. And the smell of B.O. is actually antiviral in its nature. Stanley! Let's go up there. Let's get out of here, Stanley. Is the only way to quit? I think I have to quit the game. I think I have to quit the game. I think I actually have to quit the game. <sighs> okay, so that's why 434 All got of his fired. Were gone. 
What could it mean? Because their Stanley desk... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Because they didn't tuck their no chair in? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What happens if I... I want to see what happens if I pick no. Realize... What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Not at all. Or yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, oh. I'm not sick. Then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Oh my god! Really, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? He How knows. long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. I thought so, he didn't know. What do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever. Is this how this game goes? You just get like a million different endings? Yeah, we got caught in 4K with that one, dude. Dang it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Yes, Stand I'm moving away as I am! the red door. Sorry, I got really excited. I forgot how to talk. I was saying yes, red, blue, red. I, I can't even say it anymore. Red, red pill, blue pill. I was getting excited because it's like a classic. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Hmm... What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm... Here, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel like I know this place. I think I know this place. Everybody. Gather around! Wait! Everybody gather around! Wait, no, what's this going on here? Wait, yeah, smoker voice. Here we go. This is where the Fall Guys... Well, now it's over. Never mind. I was gonna say that that is where... What I felt like that visualization was, was Fall Guys characters, while they're standing in their boxes looking out and like waiting for the next game, since they're computers and they just see ones and zeros, I just imagined that's what they saw. I don't know if that makes any sense. 
I think I'm losing my mind, actually. Now that I think about it. Okay, cool, 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 great. Do we just stay here and watch this forever? Whoa, yeah! Wow. Wait, now I'm seeing red dots. Oh, it's because there's red dots. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. Okay, I'm listening to everything he says. Well by himself. Wait, what? Why did I not see this before? Graphs! The Pale Bride. Attending to my husband has been easier than I was afraid it would be. Yes, there's days where it requires more strength than usual to keep going. I'm still getting increasingly... WAIT! Is my theory potentially real? What is happening? One sec. Okay, wait. Attending to my husband has been easier than I was afraid it would be. Yes, there's days where it requires more strength than usual to keep going. I'm still getting increasingly more sick. Oh, wait. Nothing will change that, but it's not so bad. Really, all I have to do is... Dote? Or... Is what? And try to anticipate his dis and he sure it's not as if I like him. It's an ugly forty year old man who cares about politics and never tells me anything. Never mind. Never mind. Oh wait, I wanna go up. What are these? Recommendations from Oversight Committee. We've seen it. Short history of the relations between Poland and Austria Hungary. Yeah, we're chilling in an elevator. Don't know where I'm going. Don't know if I made her. Cause I feel like I'm just going backwards through this whole game. Nothing feels strange except for every single thought I'm having. I don't know what's happening. Are we in this elevator for how long? What the heck? How tall is this? What's going on? Wait, did I actually break it? Elevator ending! Let's go! Elevator ending, everybody! Brought by yours truly. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I'm listening to the narrator this whole time. I keep saying that, but geez, dude, I just can't. When I can't. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Sorry, I'm going right, right buddy! This Sorry! Was not the correct Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do no! you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to. I thought the other door would work. Stanley go all the way back and take the, the blue door? To check on his co I don't want to go do all that, dude. Functioned. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Stanley, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I think here. we've gotten off on the I'm wrong foot. Sure I'm not your enemy. Really, I I'm not. That if I get a little bit quirky at night. Time, Sorry. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, hmm. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who is she? I am married. Uh, this is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Bro. She's been waiting. Dude, stop. You're making me feel bad. Okay. Oh, look at this. Urgent. Employees should never under any circumstances attempt to... <laughs> I think I'm actually going crazy. Do I pick door one or do I pick door two? Door one or door two? Door one or door two? Door one doesn't work. Ooh, I am a certified forklift opter operator. Get me on in here. Get me on in here. Come on. Let me in. Let me in here. Yeah. Just like that. Yep. Just let me on. Let me on. Come on. Right in there. 
Are we going to talk about... Are we going to talk about what's going on on this forklift, by the way? Is that is that oil, or is it what I think it is? I am a forklift operator. It's confirmed. I'm all done. Not... Wait, what? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Stanley. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices, and to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Dementia. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness! Is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis what? is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember, that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction, but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision-making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Dude, I just, I, this game like messes with my head. I, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here crouch spamming on a forklift. Because I'm like, maybe something, maybe something. Maybe we can get the fort, the fort, the Fortnite ending. <laughs> Guys, is this an actual, like, am I, am I onto something? Because, like, uh, I feel like anything that I can kind of climb on, there's, like, some possibilities there, you know? 
Am I stuck forever? I like can't get out. Stuck in the forklift corner ending, everybody! Stuck in the for forklift corner ending! Uh, you've never even seen somebody try to climb the forklifts? Are you serious? Did we find, on my first Stanley Parable playthrough, we found an ending that nobody else in all of creation has ever found. It's the forklift stuck in the corner glitched out ending. Sorry. Do people really not try to climb the forklifts? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I need a neck brace. I need a neck brace. I actually need a neck brace. Oh my gosh! Okay, but now the question is, how do I get up to that catwalk? Conveniently placed chair, is it not? <sighs> Climb the boxes and walk the fence, lol. I knew it was possible. I should have done it. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Wait, I recognize that means these windows. responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Like there's not an option here, right? There's not a way out these windows, right? They're just trying to get me to waste time again. Oh, uh, uh, uh. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Did you guys see that? I found a new ending! Chair disappear glitch ending! Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it... Well, it's worthless now. What? And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all no, of my work? No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. I want to get in the there. Answer? What do I do? I want to get do in I there. Do? What do I No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No, don't do it. Don't I shut it down. To. I can find a way. I can find I a way. I can find a way. To. I found a forklift way. No, please. I was finding a way. Wait, maybe I can. Now I can. Now's my chance. Come on. Lock in, Jake. It's not over. Where's my forklifts? Wait, where am I? Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. 
It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried the so firm. hard to make... ...is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Was it the fern that just fixed that? Wait, that door didn't close behind me last time. Oh, because it wasn't the that ending. No, guys, I'm not actually too stressed. I'm loving this. I mean, I'm I'm losing yeah, my mind a little bit. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Wait, so was that a, was that one of the endings? I'm confused. Belief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Don't even let that. Coming to a staircase. Wait, I can't even Stanley go downstairs. Upstairs to his boss's office. Oh wait, I remember. Didn't it say it said something like you can only go on the right path, like it won't let you go the wrong way. At a certain point, right? So I bet these I bet these right doors will be locked. I never checked out the bathroom. Not very IBS daddy of me, huh? Hey, another window. Nope, I I think all of like this one open. And this is wrong. Stepping okay, wait. This office, is wrong. Stanley was once again stunned to this. What? What is going on? Okay. Huh? This is not, not this is any. not what the boss's office looked like, is it? The boss's office Human did not life. look like this. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Was that bookshelf always sideways like that? Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Night Shark, one, two, three, four, five. you didn't want to see what I had to show just you, opened. then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? 
Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Come on, Stanley. Stand up for yourself. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. Stanley and me, they're the, the same though, for real, for real, I'm you know? Sure, your choice is correct. That is Chad, did I actually beat the game? Sorry, Leroy. Wait, Leroy, is that the guy that we saw that died? I thought it was Franz. Why did the end screen say, sorry, Leroy? I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. It seems like it's over, but then it's not over. What is going on? What? How long what? are you sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my what? senses were turned? What is he happening? Made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Have those been on the whole time and I just now realized it? Bro, I'm oblivious, dude. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I need to check out the bathroom, dude. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might coming to a staircase. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Let's check it out, baby. Oh, what we got? Money in the morning, money in the evening. Money in the morning, money in the evening. Mm. Money for breakfast, money crisp. Money in my pocket, money falling from the ceilings. Yeah, Stanley got that. Stacks, Benjamin, Benjamin, Benjamin. Whoa, Stanley got that money. Cause he be putting in the hours nine to five. Don't matter what we doing because Stanley be grinding, 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 grinding. Where'd everybody go? What end is this? No fork lifts in sight. I can't see my kids. My wife is stuck in an apartment somewhere and I unplugged the phone on her and now she's going insane but I just found a fourth lift, I gotta make it to the top. Climbing on these money stacks, call it... Why? I don't know. Uh, okay. Shut the door! Thank you. This isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore, it's just the Jakerton Parable, you know? Anyways. Yeah, got a picture of a... Bridge, that's right, get over it. Yeah, okay, we going down the hallway and I gotta know, do I go the right way or the wrong way? Cause the wrong way is the right way if you know what I'm trying to say. Did I go the wrong way in the elevator? Oh no, Panda. Panda, Panda. Panda got a propaganda, all of a sudden he's looking around trying to meander But he can't cause he's got the op standing in front of him And it's about to go down so the panda says no bro Why don't you scare him? I said bamboo! He got startled Now it's you! Took a poop in the elevator Messed it up cause I pressed the buttons wrong, I'm going down Okay Alright No way we went down, but now we're just on the same floor? What's all this... What's all this lore for? What just happened? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. 
What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to note. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. So calm. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, oh. Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, I'm sorry, narrator. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I'm gonna play your game. And I'm sorry for being lame. I'm gonna press the buttons you tell me to press and I'm gonna go the directions the you tell me to go. The an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he Stanley's not here to find out. Stanley's not here. Now the monitors jump off, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay, 234. Remember 234. I'm going to keep going in a second here. I'm not going to go off the track of what he's asking me to do. I just want to see if there's anything that we're going to notice in here. Okay, employee 601 potentially was fired. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! This employee that got fired, 601 or whoever, is the, is the, that's the window, right? That's the window that you can walk through. Is it not? Pirate! Okay, wait, 528 has something going on. Beep, error, beep, error, error, error. Can't the real error something? 528, 528. Can the real error please stand up? Beep, beep, beep. That's awesome. Wait, 528. Is that the area code for an eight mile? Is that the lore? I don't know. Bro, am I looking way too much into everything right now? Like, am I just like paranoid almost? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Okay, wait, he's giving me a choice. He didn't tell me what to do, and I said I was gonna do whatever he told me to do. So do I escape? He gave me a choice, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this as I'm gonna take this as an opportunity to leave. I said I was gonna do what the narrator told me to do. Never give up! Never give up on your dreams! High resolution secret texture! Secret, 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 super secrets, bros! Secret, secret, secrets! Secret room 2014! Never give up on your dreams! William hides the best secrets! There's no turning back! Secret, secret, secrets! Every year! I'm still stuck in here! I'm still stuck in here! Secret, secret. I'm still stuck. I'm still no. stuck. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? 
Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I'm just hearing music and everything right now. It's finally buttons I can press. Secrets, secrets, secrets. Why do I have so many secrets, secrets? Mind control lab. Well, this seems like it's not going to go well for me if I go down into this ominous pit. Turns out it's all right. Ooh, three. Wait a second, there's numbers? Three, one, two. Is there a four? Five. Where's four? Wait, why are there numbers? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Do I just put them in order? Where did three go? I don't know if I'm doing anything right. I imagine I'm supposed to hit this offline button. But right now I'm just testing to see if I press every colored button that there is if anything special happens, like a little pizza party perhaps. Wait, what? I thought this was like going back the okay. I feel kind of stupid. I thought And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yes, yes I'll be honest, that's what I wanted. I thought that's Stanley. what- I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were I supposed just... to let it go, turn the controls off, yeah, and leave. That makes if more sense. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Oh no, I, that's not then, good. Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Yes! It's okay. your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. Oh, dude, this me. feels like... This feels like... Going? What all this means. I barely know where to start. Ah! This feels that? like you'd like to know where your co-workers are. No, dude. A moment of solace. I wanna commentate, but he just does he never stops talking when the important things are happening. I'm trying to say this feels like when you put in like some pizza rolls for two minutes and then you go to try to you try to go to the bathroom and it's like 2 a.m. and you like you're like, 
I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to put some pizza rolls in the microwave. I'm going to hit two minutes. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm going to knock two birds out with one stone. And I'm going to get back to the microwave just in time as it goes three, two, one, and then yank that thing open before the buzzer goes off. Before you're obliterated. All right. I'm in a good I just mood. You couldn't say all that anyway. while he was talking. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I, set I erased them. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly, dying alone. Oh All my gosh, times, I have to be perfect. I let the office sink into the ground. I have to be perfect. I have to be perfect. Inside, it shows a code. It Where? Crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the no, control. No, dude, I, this is not the way this is supposed to go. Rich. I almost hate to see it go, but I'm sure oh, whatever the big I come red up button. with on the next go around no. will be even better. My Maybe goodness, I already did it technically. Only 34 seconds left, but I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To with it, I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh yes! These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. One, two, time three, four, five. On trees. One. Oh dear me, Two. what's the matter, Stanley? Come on, come on, come on, Is come on. Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? I think now? I have an idea. Or did you just assume when you saw that Shoot. timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? Oh, I, I guess I did assume that. I did assume that. from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. I didn't... These numbered buttons. No, these One, two, three, buttons. and now four, and button. then five, and on then big red door. button. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you Perhaps. Say that, Stanley? Perhaps, that this yes. This video game can be beaten, one solved. Well, I did figure out the forklift idea ending. What your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. Ooh, narrator kind of got a goofy all laugh. Disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. I failed. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. New content. Let's oh, go! New content? Yes, sir. What does that mean? New content. I don't know. Let's find out! New content. William is the best at making new content. Secrets, secrets. Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Content! Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Um, is it broken? 
What's going on here? Should we get should the forklift? Moving somewhere? Or, uh, oh, get the go. forklift! All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I'm buying a forklift. I've just decided. I don't know if you can buy one. Mm. Or what that looks like, mm. or where I would put it. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay, let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Yeah, more content. All right. New content, the jump circle. All right, let's see, it's the jump circle. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? I'm down for the I'm down for the jump circle. That sounds fun. I haven't been able to jump this whole time. Yay, I can finally jump in Stanley's Parable Ultimate Deluxe Forklift Edition. This is awesome. I am jumping. Wait. You guys said don't waste them. Wait, this is gonna... Wait. I don't want to mess up the new content, but... Why did... What do you mean waste them? It looked like I was... I mean, it just... I just... Reset while in there? Can I reset by finishing? Oh, another circle. Oh, that's a wire. Okay. Wait. F1! I love F1! Anyways, uh... The this is new. Room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, I he messed would never up, huh? be alone ever again. I messed up bad, dude. Oh! New content? Jump circle. No, oh, I wasted all my jumps in the jump circle and I could have used them somewhere else. I think I'm going to throw up. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Hopefully it's more jumps. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't I'm get me signed. started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I could have I'm jumped on this chair. And I'm offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Psst. 
Stanley, come over here, in the vent. I want to show you something. Gregory? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. New I content. Call it the Memory Zone. It's wow. where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I you can relive dementia. the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Sounds like dementia. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Three, two, one. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. He kind of speaking facts though, huh? Person of the year. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. This part is so long. Okay, I'm going to call it there. Hey guys, thanks for watching part one of us playing through the Stanley Parable. Uh, if you want us part two, let me know. I know this is probably a longer video and this game feels like it could literally go on forever. So if you want us to find more endings and maybe even, I don't know, beat the actual campaign, just leave a couple comments below. Let me know if you guys are liking this kind of content and I'll see you in the next video.